Russian President Vladimir Putin has visited Yakutia Republic in the country's far east accompanied by fighter aircraft, local telegram channels reported on Tuesday. Local residents have taken footage of at least one Su-30SM multi-role fighter jet accompanying Putin. This marks the first case since the beginning of the full-fledged war in Ukraine of Putin traveling to Russian regions accompanied by military aircraft, Russian publication agents Vo reported. Before this, fighter jets had only accompanied him during trips to abroad. Yakutia is the first stop on Russian president's Far Eastern itinerary. Later today, Putin will travel to North Korea, and he will visit Vietnam on Wednesday, Russian state media reported. Putin last visited the Far Eastern region in September 2014. According to TASS news agency, during his visit to Far East, Putin will get acquainted with the region's information technology sector and defense achievements. The Russian leader is also expected to meet with the head of the Republic of Yakutia Isin Nikolaev. The development comes at a time of heightened tensions between Russia and the West amid his ongoing war in Ukraine. It should be noted that Su-30SM aircraft was developed by JSC Sukhoi Design Bureau for the Russian Air Force and had its maiden flight in 2012. Ukraine will be able to more easily hit bases deep in Russia with F-16 fighters. Ukraine's recent drone attack on the Aktubinsk airbase, where rare Su-57 fighters are located, was intended to embarrass the Kremlin and demonstrate that there is no longer a safe place for its aircraft in the Russian Federation, writes Business Insider. Ukraine now appears to be systematically attacking airbases with drones, much as it used US-made long-range HIMARS guided missiles to dismantle Russian logistics and command networks in 2022, the article said. It notes that one interesting question is why the drones were not neutralized by Russian jamming capabilities. The attack in Aktubinsk suggests that Russian electronic warfare capabilities have enough breadth to cover the front but not the depth to protect the Russian interior. The publication also adds that the details of what exactly happened to the Su-57 fighter jets parked at the Aktubinsk airbase are unclear and the strike itself is rather simply symbolic. Russia has about a dozen Su-57s, which are Moscow's answer to the US F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters. Like Russia's vaunted T-14 Armata, the Su-57 did not see action in the war in Ukraine. This reflects a fear of embarrassment over the loss of modern weapons and perhaps a lack of confidence that the capabilities of these weapons will not live up to the rhetoric. It is indicated that the greatest damage to Ukraine is now being caused by Russian Su-34 and Su-35 which dropped a huge number of glide bombs. Stealth fighters are not needed for Russia's stealth strategy. Destroy Ukrainian defenses with glide bombs, then send in poorly trained infantry to clean up. It's a crude and expensive approach that has nonetheless allowed Russia to capture some small swathes of territory, writes Business Insider. According to the author, in order to drive Russian aviation deep into the rear, cheap drones can become an even better option for the US force of the Ukrainian armed forces than F-16 fighters. Let us recall that it was previously reported that on June the 8th, in the Astrakhan region of the Russian Federation at the Aktubinsk airbase, which is located 589 kilometers from the front line, at least one Su-57 fighter was hit. Later, the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense reported that two Russian ultra-modern Su-57 fighters could have been hit, and the enemy suffered casualties among personnel.